Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we are going to be looking at the Carrier 4 Ton Infinity Variable Speed AC Condenser, the 24 VNA9. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this variable speed system, go through the features and benefits, show you a little bit about this install. As always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you, uh, are looking to get an estimate or any more information about these you're welcome to reach out to me you can email me at albertairinc uh, at gmail.com or call me at 714-526-6368 for an estimate if you're in the orange county california area so let's get right into this unit like i said this is the carrier infinity variable speed ac condenser it is four ton in size the model number is 24 vna 9 49 a a a a three um so this condenser is going to be 18 plus sear two in the four ton size uh its dimensions are going to be 35 inches width 35 inches depth and 44 inches tall um this is a very quiet condenser um being as it's an infinity series this is going to be top of the line it's going to be higher on efficiency compared to the performance or comfort series units uh so in the infinity uh, systems this is the five speed and then there's one above it that's 75 speed so this gets the 18 plus tier 2 efficiency with the five speeds which will make your house a lot more comfortable throughout the day uh, it will run at different speeds depending on your temperature and humidity uh, settings on your thermostat as well as the sensors so this will actually sense your temperature and humidity outside there is a sensor right down here underneath uh, where it senses the temperature at your unit. So it's not downtown AccuWeather, it's actually at your home. And then it's a fully communicating system. So it does talk with the thermostat indoors and the furnace, uh, wherever that's located, to decide what speeds to run at and how to be as efficient as possible to cool your house. Um, so this system that we just did, we only did the condenser and the coil. The uh, customer had an older system um, and that system was from 2008 and the furnace and coil are here in the garage he actually had a leak in the system and uh, we could never pinpoint the leak it was a very tiny leak every few years he would actually call us we'd come back out fill up a few pounds of r410a um, and because the unit is 16 years old he did want to upgrade it was a two-stage infinity system so we went to the five stage uh, infinity condenser and then we did a new evaporator coil up here. We were able to keep the furnace because it is a carrier infinity furnace. It's the 58CVX 090 and that was a very popular furnace uh, for many, many, many years. They don't make that exact furnace anymore, but it's very good and everything's backwards compatible. So we were able to keep the furnace and all we did was the new coil and then we ran new refrigerant lines all the way outside and we ran them down inside this wall which will come back in drywall and then we set the new condenser out here so let me know if you guys have any questions about this system um, this is a very popular unit the infinity 24 vna 9 uh, five stages um, very very quiet very efficient compared to his older system that was a two-stage infinity system that was 17 sear so this is going to be a little more efficient and quieter and have more overall comfort because of the different speeds. So as always, please like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. I have some upcoming videos on dual fuel systems. I also have some videos coming out on the new R454B refrigerant systems that are coming soon. We should see those in a few months. And um, I appreciate everyone watching. Thank you very much.